Now the transfer postings. What kind of different transfer posting happens? Let's, let's discuss that. First kind of transfer posting or uh, uh, when it happens between the story locations, we don't call it, call it as a stock transfer. Okay, it can be called as a stock transfer, but the general, general term, terminology which you'll see in the SAP is that people call it as a transfer posting, transfer posting through Migo, transfer posting through Migo. That is a transaction which is which is, it is called between the story location. Between the story location also, there can be a lot of complexity can be there. Different kind of things can happen between the story locations. First thing, the transaction would be happening directly to the Migo. Okay, we will be directly doing a material document posting. We don't require, although there is an option that you can create an additional STO between the story locations also, you can create an STO. But I will tell you that why uh, SAP don't recommend it or even why also I don't recommend it, but technically it can be done. But generally when it happens between the story location, we use Migo as a transaction. We directly do the document posting, okay? Without any in intermediate document like STO created for it. So there also we have variation. We can do one step movement directly with the movement type 311. You can transfer the stock from one story location to another story location. One stock movement, you can do it. In this place, there is no financial entry happens. There would not be any financial entries happen. There is a SAP screenshot just to tell you detail what we are talking about. So you will go into the Miro transaction and you will put your movement type 311. And here you need to select your transfer posting. You need to put that how much of the stock, which plant, which story location from INW story location, we are transferring it to OBW story location. So that is simple uh, transfer posting. There is no financial entries are created. Can you tell me that why there is no financial entries in this transaction? Because s log belongs to the same company code. Now beyond the company code, they also belong to the same plant also. Okay. So company code is higher, but under the company code plant and story location belongs to plant. So they belong to the same plant, which means that it is the transaction within the company within the same valuation area. So there will not be any financial impact, okay? There will not be any financial impact. Generally with the story locations, your financial general ledger accounts does not change, right? So there is no financial impact. So that's why there would not be any financial entries. I have a few questions also coming in between. Rajesh is asking, what about the transportation cost if it occurred? So I will come to that scenario. What happens if the transportation cost is also there? So generally what we take care of this uh, uh, story location to story location movement, that this is it is within the premise, within your available transportation handling uh, equipments, like let's say with your forklifts or with your uh, normal different cranes or with your uh, simple milk run trolleys, you can put it and then it will move from one story location to another. Let's say from your plant, this, if I, I I need to explain explain you the very basic scenario of S lock to S lock movement in your manufacturing unit, you need some material which need to come from your inward store. So store need to supply the material to for the manufacturing unit, right? The both store, the inbound receiving store, and your manufacturing unit also in the same premise. It would be hundred meters or some kind of two hundred three hundred meters away within the same plant. So this one need to give the material to this plant. So this is a different story location in your plant. That is the transfer we are talking about. Okay, that is the transfer we are talking about. If you say, boss, my trucks are involved, other things are involved, then you can go for the STO case. Then you can go ahead with the STO case. Then with the STO, you can create a delivery. With the delivery, you can create a, uh, your uh, freight order. With the freight order, you can calculate how much of the freight and you can also pay to your vendor also if you want to make that complex. Generally, for this store transfer to the this, where basically there is no major transportations available, your transportation cost is static cost, only the milk run, forklifts, and internal equipments you are using it, we don't recommend it to create any STOs between it. It will unnecessarily complicate the process, right? It can happen with the one step where basically store has punched the material and directly it comes to your store location. It can be, these transactions can also be done in the two steps. Two step transfers can also be done. We are basically movement type, where the movement type 3113 and 315 would come into the picture. 
three one three moment first step and three one five moment uh, another step. It would be in transit in between when it is moving from three one three to three one five. You can also transfer with the reservation MB twenty one. A reservation can be created. That is a very common process. The manufacturing unit they create a reservation of the materials from MB twenty one. And against the reservation with the one step uh, movement, it has been posted from the store to the to the manufacturing unit. In this process, store location to store location process, STO is possible, but not recommended. I will come to that point. It would be a very good point of discussion. Ki why S lock to S lock? We should not create STO. If it is required, you can get it created. Okay, some kind of cases you will come come up. Ki they have messed up with the uh, enterprise structure itself. The two story location, one is Chennai, one is Bangalore, they have created. Now the transfer between Chennai and Bangalore, now they are getting struggle that, okay, how the movement will happen, how the other things will happen, trucks will be involved, vendor would be involved. So many things are there. So you cannot do just a MIGO transaction. You need a proper documentation also. In these cases, the STO will come into the picture. But this is the uh, stock transfers. Okay, uh, if you talk about the transfer posting. Now, integration with the modules, which modules it would be integrating? Production planning, sales and distribution, materials management. Three, the three of these modules would be taken care of. Production planning, sales and distribution, and materials management. And definitely finance is there everywhere. That's why I have not mentioned finance. Finance, correct accounts need to be uh, entered and the finance need to make sure that Correct accounting entries are happening in case of STO. So finance is every there. So I'm not separately calling about finance would be involved, right? But can you tell me that what we what would be the involvement of PP guys here? In the stock transfers, what would be the involvement of PP? Availability of the material, movement types and store location. Make sure the stock is available. Special procurement key, very good, Srinivas. Special procurement key is linked. GR after production confirmation. Okay, not necessary. MRP Venkat, very good. Now, this is the major mistake people does it. Okay, and I see that when the PP consultants are not involved, rather than calling it PP consultant, I will just call when the planning people are not involved, people do those kind of mistakes. Okay, now it's also required when we talk about movement from plant A to plant B. Okay, now it will be coming to a point, why story location to story location? We should not use it. I will, I will let you know now. Now, what is going to happen? The process would be very simple. Whether it's inter-company or intra-company, you can say, and this is how I have seen that multiple places, only this process has been explained. Plant A, you want to transfer it to plant B. Okay. So plant B would be creating a stock transfer order. STO would be created. Against this STO, plant A would be creating a delivery document that would be outbound delivery if the configuration has been maintained like this they would be doing a pgi picking in pgi they would be doing it for this outbound delivery and then in plant b would be able to do direct good receipt or if the inbound delivery process has been created an inbound delivery can be created for plant b and uh, Plant V would be doing a good receipt based on the inbound deliveries. That is a process which generally I have seen. But people have missed a lot of things here. How the STO would be generated, boss? You can say if it is an ad hoc process, now and then plant B need to transfer from plant A. If it is an ad hoc process, then you can create a STO manually. But let's say this plant is A is your manufacturing plant, and this is your distribution center. Then from manufacturing plant to distribution center, there would be a very continuous movement, maybe once in a week, once in a day, or three, four uh, trucks or three, four shipments would be happening from plant to distribution center. How plant A would be knowing that when we need to go ahead and uh, send the material to plant B, right? How the planning would be happening. So there would be a component here between this manufacturing plant and this between this distribution center, planning need to happen. How much of material I need to be sending it, right? That planning need to happen also based on the demand. If there's a demand in the distribution center, then we need to ship the material. Without demand, we need not to, we, we are not required to ship the materials, right? Then the demand also comes into the picture, okay? So based on the demand, you need to do the calculation. And that based on the calculation, you will find it out that what is the missing quantities which need to be required to supply from plant A. And for that, a STR need to be created. Now, this calculation is known as, this calculation is known as a MRP. 
material requirement planning. So what is happening here? Your customer is putting demand here. Or even if not customer, if you say, boss, it is make to stock for make to stock cases also, your forecast would be coming at the distribution center level. We do the forecasting because at the distribution center level, we'll be doing a selling. So forecast would be happening at the DC level. Now from this DC level forecast, and this DC would be getting a material from five different plants also. So which material need to come from which plant? When, how much, what should be the quantity? All these things would be done by the MRP. So you need to make sure that the MRP elements has been set it up correctly. Uh, MRP parameters has been set it up correctly. And the linkage between the plant A and plant B need to be maintained correctly. Which configuration settings is main, maintain the relationship between plant A and plant B? What is that setting called? Which maintain a relationship between plant A and plant B in SAP? How MRP would be knowing that it need to create a stock transfer request because the requirement is there. And for the stock transfer request, the supply plant would be plant A. Very good, Harshad. Very good, Namneet. Special procurement key. So we set it up SPK in between. The special procurement key would be telling us that how the transfer is going to happen between the two plants. So your planning team need to create the special procurement keys. And in your MRP views, you need to assign your special procurement keys. Then only a particular material system will come to know, okay, it will do the MRP calculation at the plant B level, maybe based on the demand or maybe based on the forecast. Then it will come to know, okay, okay there is a shortage, there is some requirement. Who will supply this requirement? Plant A will supply through special procurement key. Your MRP will be able to come. And MRP first before STO, MRP would be generating STR, which will be telling that when we need to transfer the material. Who need to transfer the material, whether it's a plant A, plant B, or plant C, uh, and what should be the quantity, how much quantity of the material need to be transferred. That all information would be first given in the STR by the through the planning run, and then this STR would get converted into stock transfer order. And then further processing would be happening. That would be the involvement of the planning team into the stock transfer process. Okay, that would be the involvement of the planning team into the stock transfer process.